Hey, this is Steven from the Green Engineers, and I wanted to quickly talk about the multi-shooter operating system and the controller here. So, I wanted to quickly talk about it. You've seen it in many of my other videos and many of my other diagrams and whatnot. So, I wanted to actually talk a little bit more about it. So, um, this guy, let me talk a little bit more about the controller. This guy at the top is what you're going to be interfacing through. Let me just go ahead and reposition my hand real quick. This guy is a 2.8 inch touchscreen display. It's full color. It has uh, full color, and here is yellow. If you can't tell, you might have a little bit of color shifting because of how bright the screen is, which is really beneficial to you. Because I found out that it has a very, very far reading distance. Even with it being in portrait mode as it is here, the reason it being in portrait mode is you have more information up and down. So uh, this guy is a 2.8 inch touchscreen display. This guy here is a wing shield or like a screw terminal shield. And it's got more terminals over here. And then underneath is Arduino Uno. So this guy right here is the complete brain. This is what you're going to interface with. And this is what's going to control the entire tool. So uh, let me go ahead and talk about what we have on screen here. Number one is this is obviously a beta version. I just wanted to show you guys just so you guys could get an idea. And this is after about maybe two days of working on it, so you know, it's super beta. Um, this guy here is the uh, temperature current, temperature target, uh, motor speed and percentage, so 10%. Diameter target, which is 1.75 millimeter. Diameter current, 1.75 millimeter. And then a configure button with a yellow square. So uh, later on, it'll allow you to touch through these. And let me just explain what this screen is. This is like a status screen. And what it what it does is that this guy basically tells you your status of your multi-shooter at the current second. And of course, if it was attached to sensors, sensors would be mapped to each of these to display to you. And um, when you want to change stuff, you go through this screen to change stuff. Also, this will tell you what's going on at the current time. This is not the screen that you're going to use to change anything, it's just the status screen. You'll go to another screen to change anything. And this screen will only be visible probably for the manual control. As you see it has a lot of information that the controller is going to control all this if you use automatic mode. Meaning that if you don't want to worry about all this stuff and you just want to get this, di uh, this diameter current to this diameter target, it will automatically control the rest of this stuff. So on the automatic user's screen, it will probably only show this, saying like, please, you know, please type in your, um, your current diameter, and then it will say what it changed, and get that closer and closer. So down here, this, so that's why this is just like an example. This is just kind of like an example screen of what you would see. And then let's go ahead and look at what a setting screen would be. So down here, I have a configure button. As you see, if I'm straight up and down, super responsive with this stylist. Of course, I, I'm doing all this by looking at the, uh, the camera. And you can see here, you can even use your thumb. No, uh, my, well, this is my index finger. No issues. So if I go back here, and then you see on this screen we have temperature target, motor speed percentage, diameter target 1.75 millimeter, diameter current 1.75 millimeter, and then you can finally see the colors green, red, green, red, green, red, yellow. This yellow is a back button, these guys are setting up, setting down. So if you look at temperature target, when I press this button, it goes up. Super easy to change between stuff. And, uh, what I'm going to show you guys is how quickly it goes from 100 to um, uh, 200. And I'm going to try to land exactly on 200. Oh. Okay, so as you see, very easy to land on what you're aiming for. It's a very, very responsive screen. It, it's very, very quick. It's a lot quicker than I even thought it was going to be. So uh, you could see that, you know, 
how quickly you can flip back and forth. This is very quick, even though I can't really see the screen at the same time recording it. And you do have to press with enough pressure to trigger it, so that's usually why the issues with it not triggering. But yeah, so this is just a quick video of how easy and simple it will be to interface with this particular guy. No need to, you know, interface with controllers independently. You could interface all through this operating system that I'm going to finish writing. And different, it's going to have different modes, presets for each of your filaments and whatnot, for each of the, the filament uh, PLA, ABS, the particular manufacturers for each, uh, your pellets, and if you're using recycled or whatever. So this is just a quick beta of what an example of how it would look, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. So uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video of the multi-shooter operating system. This has been Steven from the Green Engineers, and I'll catch you guys in later content. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.